Look at this. My hair starts to look so bad. So, so, like, what, what is this? <laughs> ah, it's just the worst. My hair is the worst, but, well, it is what it is. Oops. Hi guys, how are you today? <laughs> so, um, well, welcome back. Another week <laughs> with me. Uh, the other day, I'm gonna okay, put a little bit. Okay, uh, the other day I asked you that I was gonna be doing a get ready with me video, and I asked you which story time would you like me to tell you? You know when I am getting ready. And of course, I knew the, the, the answer in the second that I was wrote, uh, writing the options, but uh, it was basically uh, you wanted to know about my first solo travel experience. So that's what we are gonna do today. I have my coffee here ready with me. Coffee with coconut milk. This is just the best. I have the makeup <laughs> that I need to use over here. I hope we have to go to get um, like some extra things, but mainly I have here all my things. I also have here with me the new, these are the samples of my new stickers. Oh my goodness, I am loving this. This is my favorite one so far. This is so cute. This is in normal paper okay, because I was doing um, a trial. But I have here with me the stickers. The st well, a sticker paper I need to print in color. But yeah, I was doing the trial to see the size and which row was I liking. This is Noah. I am Noah from Peter Pan. <laughs> and this is um, like. I want to do this, um, like the two points with the smile to one side and then the other eyes to the other side, this one. I want to do this tattoo and I really like the, the sentence, take a sad song and make it better. So I was like, oh, I want to make a sticker out of that. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I have here with me. I have also like me. Because if you are interested, I'm gonna leave you the links in the description box. So, so yeah, <laughs> let's just get ready. Woo! Okay, so, um, first things first, before we start, uh, we need to put this to do our makeup very well. Okay, so, 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 first things first, I'm gonna open, or at least try to open this uh, NYX Honey Me. I love this primer, I love it so much, but yeah, it's so difficult to open. In the meantime, my first solo travel experience. When I ask you that question, I was thinking of um, the one that I did as an adult, adult. <laughs> uh, but actually, I was thinking of um, of all the travels that I have done in my life. And to be honest, <laughs> the first solo travel, solo travel that I ever did was when I was eight years old. Yes, you're hearing it right. It was the very first time that I was traveling all by myself. Okay, let's put yourself in situation. Um, so my father uh, used to, now he's retired, but he used to work in a factory and uh, his factory had a, like a sister, let's call it a sister factory, in the north of France, in Pas de Calais, okay? The north, north? Northwest, northwest, next to the you know that tunnel that you can go to the UK. Well, nearby. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so the children of all the workers in the fact in that factory in the good years, not when the crisis happened, but in the good years, um, they, in summer 
they had this program to send the, the children of the workers that they wanted to go. Uh, you could go, I think it was, the, there were two weeks that uh, we could go to um, like summer camps, I think you call them. So yeah, that was actually my first solo experience. I was eight years old. I was the uh, youngest of all and my family always remembers me that I was the not just the youngest but also the smallest and uh, my family and my, my, my father's co-workers always remember me that you know it was super shocking to watch such a little girl going super happy to France and just like Goodbye, mommy and daddy. I'm going to France. Great. Bye bye. I don't care. I don't care. Every children, every like all the other children were crying because you know uh, they were gonna miss their parents. But I was like, oh my God, yes, yes, I'm going to France. <laughs> I was so happy. And as I'm telling you, that was my let's call it first solo travel experience oh my gosh I've been such a traveler since uh, since I was very young very oops, very 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 young and I think that I have always loved to travel I don't if I look back I don't remember myself not liking to travel I had a few years um, when I was a teenager that uh, me and my family were going through some economic troubles so that those years I could not travel but then then 2013 2012 2012 arrived I was on my I just finished my first year at university and had the summer vacations and I was oh my god I want to travel uh, my parents can travel because you know we're still going through some economic problems so my friends they don't want to travel anywhere so I was oh, I want to I want to go somewhere so badly like so 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 badly and that uh, that year Actually, I made like few works and they pay me like a little bit, a little symbolic money. So I took that money and my mother has a friend whose daughter was living in Edinburgh. Of course, my first solo travel had to be to Scotland, of course. Oh my goodness, who would have said many years later? Now, thinking back, it's just so crazy, you know, that it was Edinburgh, the very first place where I traveled all by myself and that I fell in love with. Oh, I'm gonna be using a pretty fresh foundation by Colourpop. This is a sample that they sent me that I actually like, to be honest. It's, it's not bad, I like it. Anyway, um... Yeah, my mother had uh, a friend whose daughter was in Edinburgh and I was like, you know what, let's just go, let's, let's go. She told me that um, she was staying in a, like, a hostel, okay? But then hostels were for, you know, poor people, like, you know, those kind of uh, travelers. Uh, but I didn't care. To be honest, I didn't care. Uh, that person told me that uh, she was working there, that it was super easy to find a job. That was, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go there and spend a month and try to find a job and at least, you know, do some summer jobs. Well, <laughs> I did everything but that. It's true that at the beginning, I really tried to find a job there, but it was, it was not easy. To be honest, it was not easy at all to find uh, a job basically because I just turned uh, 19 years old it was my very first time outside my country trying to you know find a job uh, trying to survive and I had no idea how another country worked so I was super lost and that person didn't help me 
at all. And it's okay, I'm gonna be using uh, now, yes, this uh, stronger foundation, which is the Aqua Jelly Makeup by Belle, hypoallergenic. So I was there, oh my goodness, I still remember that uh, the very first time that I, um, well, you know, I took the plane, and <laughs> when the, the plane landed, it was, I think it was August, or, yeah, it was August, or mid-July, not very sure, but yeah, it was, it was that, those months. Um, and I remember that the landing of the, of the plane was just the worst landing ever. Uh, it was raining so much, so, so, so much, that, oh my god, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I remember that I was so scared um, when we landed. I was the shyest. Trust me, when I say that I was the shyest person on earth, I was. And I have no idea how I managed to do that trouble. You know what I mean? Um, okay, let me finish this because if not, I, I'm gonna make a whole mess. Okay, so, um, I'm sorry, as I was saying, um, I still have no idea, me being super shy, I remind you that it took me the previous year, the whole year, the very first year of uh, my university, to make one friend. Okay, I was super, super super shy because um, I came from from a high school where I was bullied for being me <laughs> I don't know <laughs> don't ask uh, so I was like very introvert person um, yeah it cost me so much to open to somebody uh, but yeah I <laughs> I went there I don't know how but I went there once I got the ticket, it was not going back. So maybe, maybe that's a good thing to do. You know, if, if, this is a good advice. If you are the shyest person on earth, just buy a ticket, and there's no going back. Go whatever, all by yourself, and there's no going back because you don't want to lose the money. Okay, so uh, after that foundation, I'm gonna be using the concealer, the Fit Me by Maybelline. This is my go-to concealer that sometimes I use as a foundation when I'm on a hurry. This is a life saver, savior, I don't know. So, so, I arrived there late in the night, quite late in the night, I arrived to the airport and I remember that um, the, the person that I knew was waiting for me in the city, not at the airport, in the city. And I have no idea how to go to the city. She told me, you know, take this bus and bus and that and this. And when I arrived to the airport, there was no bus. So I was like, first problem. How am I gonna be able to manage myself? So yeah, with all my shyness, I went to the closest airport person, somebody who could help me, and I asked, you know, I was told to take this bus, uh, where can I get it, is it working this late at night? And that person helped me so much, it was very friendly. Also, I have to say that my English was not very good back in 2012. It was not, I mean, it, it was not bad, but it was not, you know, as good as now. Even though now it's not great, but you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, so I have no idea how I managed to understand that person. And I was, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna stay here and hopefully something is gonna arrive and take me, uh, take me to where I have to meet that person. But yeah, a few minutes later, the bus arrived and I was able to meet, meet the, the person in Edinburgh, in the city center. She took me to the hostel that we were staying at. Uh, I booked uh, the hostel for two weeks, not one week. 
And then I went to his standing week after week after week. So, so uh, when I arrived to the place, I realized that it was a shared bedroom. I had no idea until I arrived there that I was going to be sharing the bedroom with boys and girls because it was cheaper. <laughs> If it was just uh, a girl's bedroom, it was a little bit more expensive than, you know, mixed bedroom. But well, once again, I still have no idea how I manage to be there. It's nowadays that I have no idea. Like, it's a, I think that when you go out and there's nobody else to help you, and you have to help yourself, I think that from that moment on, it's, it's like a before and after of you. I don't know if that makes sense, but it did for me. Anyway, that night I slept there, I was super tired, so I slept there. And uh, <laughs> here things get more interesting. <laughs> the next morning, um, I was getting ready, I was getting ready to explore the city. I was just staying in the in the old town, by the way. I love the old town. Um, and um, I was staying there, and in the morning I was getting ready, you know, to explore the city and that. And I remember that my like the contact person there was not talking to me at all. I was all by myself. That person was with her friends, and I was all by myself. And I was, oh my goodness, how I'm gonna make. Here. I'm, I at least have to make for another two weeks and I, ha I know nobody, I am super shy, where I'm gonna eat, where I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, it was a, a survival moment for me. Okay, before I kept speaking, I'm gonna, I bought these two products the other day, they are the same products by NYX. It's an eyeliner, the Epic Smoke Liner. I loved the color of this product. But actually, I think that I'm gonna be doing green today. And I like the, this is a smoke. I like the, the application. I'm gonna show you if I am able to open it. I hate when products are super like packed here with all these things and then you open it and I still have more. Oh, I really don't like this. Ah, okay, so the product is this. Um, I'm gonna clean it later, okay. But for now I can open the product, so that's the important thing. And it has two sides. So, I don't know, curious. This, I don't know how to show it to you. I'm so bad doing this. Like it's so, I don't know, the, the form of this eyeliner is just super curious. Like this, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna become a professional <laughs> beauty um, YouTuber. Okay, so one side is that one, and the other side is like a crazy brush. You can see it, it's, it's a crazy brush. But it's actually a brush. And it's supposed to make you make you be able to do an easy smoky eye. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I am the worst with smoky eyes. I'm just gonna go there really, like with no eyeshadow on the face. Let's put cream on top of cream. Let's see how this works. The brush actually hurts. So the brush really hurts when I try and try to blend it. So maybe with the finger it's gonna be a little bit easier. I don't know if this product was a good idea or what. I'm gonna try to do it on the other side. Try keyword. 
before. Maybe I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> Maybe the product is not as good as I thought. Oh my god, the, the brush really hurts. Maybe I have too sensitive eyes, but I think it's easier to blend it with your finger. I don't know, I am not 100% convinced of this product. Because it's supposed to be useful with this, but it's actually the worst brush ever. It's easier to blend it, to blend it with your fingers. Okay, so I... I don't know why I bought this. Well, actually yes, because I loved the color of the other one. I love this product and I like green, but... I am gonna be using on top of this, actually. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep telling you the story in a few, in few seconds, okay? <laughs> Just give me one second! I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette that I love. Oh my goodness, I love it. This is the Fade Into Hue by Colourpop. This is just the cutest, the cutest eyeshadow palette ever. I mean, the cutest. Like, come, come. It's just the cutest. So, so yeah, I have no idea. Lighter green. This is the color designer. Whoa! Oh! Oh my goodness, this is super strong. I didn't want a very strong color. A little bit darker color. Yeah. The outside. Okay, okay, not bad. I'm not bad about this. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Okay, so as I, want to, as I was telling you, uh, the next morning, uh, one girl that was sleeping next to me, she came to me and said, Hi, what's your name? You know, like if we were five years old making new friends. And I was, Hey, my name is Mireya. What's your name? Hey, my name is Anna. And that is how I met one of my coolest friends ever. She lives in Barcelona, well, nearby, <laughs> and um, we are still keep, kept in touch. Years later, we came back to Scotland, we still are talking about going back to Scotland, so it's just so crazy, so, so, so crazy how things uh, turn out. So yeah, that's how I met Anna. And we started going out together, uh, doing plans together. She explained me Edinburgh because uh, that was her second time in the city and it was my first. We made a lot of hiking. Uh, oof, a lot of things. She showed me like Harry Potter places in Edinburgh. It was just so cool. So, so, so cool. And we are so similar, you know, in the things that we think, in the, yeah, in the things that we think, uh, the way we see the life and all of that. So it was so cool meeting someone like that in Scotland, in another country, you know? making a friendship like that. Uh, it's true that we don't speak every day, but I don't speak every day with my best friend here also, so... <laughs> you know, it's one of those friendships that even if you don't speak in two or three years, the moment that you speak again, it's like you never stop to speak it. You know what? Those kind of relationships, they are so cool. And she's such a cool girl. So yeah. We also discovered this puff uh, together that we fell in love with the waiter of the puff. So we went there every night. It was super expensive because it was super expensive. Edinburgh is expensive. Well, the whole UK is expensive. But uh, we were in love with the waiter there. So he reminded us to Harry Potter. Yeah, crazy years, crazy, crazy, crazy years, but yeah, 
That was my first solo travel experience. She went there to do some English studies and I basically went there to do tourism because I I really tried to find a job. I sent my CV to many places, but I was not able to find a job. <laughs> yeah, I was super... Uh, I was really trying to find a job there. Yeah, I was really, really, really trying to. But as I told you at the beginning, um, those years, me and my parents were not doing very well economically because of the, you know, the 20, 28, 2008 crisis that it was a worldwide crisis uh, we were not doing very well so after almost a month I had to go back home again and I was super sad but uh, four years later yeah, four years later, Anna and I decided to do a road trip around Scotland together. And for that time, I was already working in the tourism office, so I was able to make a little bit more of money. So I was able um, to afford to do a road trip, you know, to rent the car, the Airbnbs, the bed and breakfast and all of that. And oh my goodness, it was a seven days road trip around the... Scotland and Monica. one of the best experiences of my whole life um, as you know Scotland maybe that's the reason why I'm so in love with Scotland because it was my very first travel solo experience I have such great memories from that country uh, because even even the bad things I remember them as good things, you know, as life lessons. And probably because of that, I want to go and live there so badly. So, so, so badly. Oh, by the way, I'm using something that I shouldn't be using. Uh, this is the Mosaic Compact Powder by Essence. This is super old. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's super old. But I love it because it's a very subtle, subtle, um, like bronzing. It's not, it's not very strong bronzer. So I like it because in that sense I can put um, a blush on top that it's gonna pop. And yeah, well, 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 well. Oh my gosh, I forgot the glitter. I was talking. I forgot to put glitter on my eyes. I'm gonna do it later so yeah after that I went as I told you that was the first time in Scotland and I went back and did a road trip and then I went back with my mother and my cousin and I just cannot wait to go back because it's such a beautiful beautiful Edinburgh itself it's such a beautiful town or city it's just so beautiful it has like the old times yeah, touch with the modern like I don't know if you have ever been in, in Edinburgh but it's divided into uh, areas okay the modern side and the old town side I love the old town it, it has such a that gray tone to it that you probably saw on Instagram but it's just so beautiful it's just so 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 beautiful yeah I just I just cannot wait to, to be able to live there in I don't know maybe two years or so in 20 2024 that's that's my goal right now to be able to go there and live in 2024 oh my Oh, that was so 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 cool and I already told that to Anna and she's like oh, I'm gonna go and visit you <laughs> actually Anna was living in Edinburgh when the year in 2013 she was living in Edinburgh 2013 or 2014 I don't remember very well but yeah she lived there 
she worked there and uh, for a few months and I'm like oh my god I'm so jealous <laughs> I don't even care if it's just for a few months that I get to live in Edinburgh hopefully forever but to settle there but even if it's just like a few months I just don't care I just wanna live there you know make a routine in Edinburgh actually my dream place is to live in a Scottish cottage oh my god in the middle of the nature surrounded by animals and by nature and with flowers and by lakes because Scotland has a lot of water also it's an island so um, the area of the Isle of Sky the north the north of Scotland oh my god Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm already dreaming. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the blush that I use always, as you can also see. <laughs> I know that they created a new formula, but I actually like this one. This one, this is the rose champagne, and I love it so much. And for the highlights, I use my mirror. This one, bye. W7. This is actually a brand from the UK. This is, this is a very subtle, subtle <laughs> um, highlighter. For the lips, I'm gonna be using this um, Algae with Hydrating Effect by Essence. I love this um, lip oils by Essence. It's so cute. Has like a little bit blue touch to it and it's so cute but I'm gonna be also using also from Essence this other lip oil which is the cranberry lip oil that has a little bit of tint I'm not gonna be using it in my whole lips just like that you know like a small touch to this look that I created, nothing. I was not actually going for this look, but well, this is what turned out. Okay, guys. So now I have to do my hair because, uh, yeah, my hair is getting curly again. So I need to do something because I'm gonna be filming new videos for the main channel. So yeah. Long story short, that was my my very first solo travel experience. Actually, my second time, first time travel, solo travel, whatever. Because, you know, if you remember, north of France. Oh, I also want to go back there because it's been so many years since the last time that I was there and I love the place. And be sure to keep watching this channel because because before the year ends I'm gonna be getting finally my van so so yeah with the van I'm gonna be traveling a lot a lot a lot a lot and more next year but just keep watching this channel what do you think guys do you like my look today this is just uh too much much green maybe 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 I'm gonna put more green because why not <laughs> yes I'm talking about glitter green glitter I discovered I like green glitter over there you know this is a glitter that I use by Kiko you already know this what a disaster I cleaned my desk yesterday and today it's again a mess but yeah okay guys so please let me know uh, if you would like to listen to another story while I'm getting ready or just give me suggestions leave me leave me leave me suggestions in the comments below and I can check them and I can get ideas and do future videos because uh, as you are watching I'm trying to to do one video every week um, this week of course is um, is this one it's gonna be this one I was gonna be doing a vlog but 
But the days off that I have, I'm not gonna be doing much. Only filming and filming and more filming and spending more time here. Also, I'm gonna be working on my sticker shop for you to have new designs. Also for me because I love putting designs here. I love buying uh, like crystal clear uh, phone cases and then putting here my stickers. I like putting them here or whatever you want on, on your bullet journal or whatever and it's just so cool. it's just so 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 cool but yeah I created this one because it's autumn so pumpkin spice and everything nice so yeah you can put them everywhere because they are waterproof so so yeah I'm gonna be sending them let me know if you want to to see how I create them how I make them you know, if you, if you want to, to see the whole process, how I create um, like uh, an order, let me know, let me know, just leave me suggestions in the comments below, so once again I can take ideas and create content for you. <laughs> so yeah guys, thank you so much for being here another day, thank you so much for um, listening to my story while drinking a cup of coffee with coconut milk by the way I already destroyed two nails <laughs> but yeah thank you so much and, and see you on the next one bye 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 oh my goodness it's not as bad as I thought Me. This is how my desk looks right now. This is where I put the camera. <laughs> oh yeah, this is how my desk looks like. It made samples, samples here. And my kiddo stickers and the makeup that I use. And my phone. <laughs> ah, crazy. Side the good times just begun